Over the past hundred years, no other natural disaster in the U.S. has caused more death and destruction than floods. They can happen any place, any day, any time. And they will likely only get worse. As people cluster around coastal regions and floodplains, our growing population will confront the awesome power of water. For thousands of years, farmers have depended on seasonal floods. The waters irrigated their crops and fertilized their lands. Today, excess water is channeled into reservoirs and power hydroelectric dams. But when water levels rise suddenly, far more than the ground can absorb, a flood occurs. Flash floods are a perfect example. Sudden storms unleash a torrential downpour. The runoff moves with surprising force. At a depth of two feet, the water can push aside a car. In fact, half of all deaths from flash floods involve vehicles. But floods occur in many other ways. Heavy rains and thawing snowfall can overwhelm rivers. Storm surges caused by hurricanes and tsunamis inundate the coastline. Landslides and mud flows can displace large volumes of water. Dams break, levees fail. In the Great Mississippi Flood of 1993, several of these factors came into play. Over 10,000 square miles of the Midwestern United States were overwhelmed with rain. In a cruel twist, the earthen dams known as levees along the upper Mississippi River forced the water to flow downstream faster and stronger. Communities further downriver were hit with the full brunt of the Mississippi. Two-thirds of all the levees were breached. Though towns rallied to protect their lives and livelihoods, the damage was still immense. Over $10 billion in damages, 56,000 homes flooded or destroyed, and some 50 people were killed. At the start of this century, another powerful flood wreaked havoc, this one coming from the sea. The storm surges of Hurricane Katrina submerged 80% of the city of New Orleans. Over 1,800 people died in the floods. The damage has been estimated at over $80 billion. In some ways, the New Orleans disaster was unique. Much of the city lies below sea level. And despite years of warning, the city was woefully unprepared to handle a breach of the levees which kept it dry. But we are still vulnerable. Sea levels may rise. Coastlines could erode. Rain patterns might change. Snowpacks could melt. And then the waters would rush in.